Hey guys, it's Kellyan and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be bringing you guys along with me for midterms week. So I would say like this week and next week is midterms and I thought it would be fun to just kind of study together and if you have any midterms or if you just need to do something productive then this would be a good video for you to watch and kind of follow along. So if you don't know, I am a senior at university and I can't believe it but this Friday I am going to be registering for my last semester of classes which sounds crazy to me i feel like these four years flew by so fast which honestly everyone probably says that when they get to the end but it really did i feel like i started <laughs> like yesterday or something but overall i've had i would say like a great experience at college so far i've definitely learned a lot about myself um, throughout it and sometimes school isn't everything. I was taught that you have to go to college in order to get a good job in order to make money but honestly in this day and age like you can make money with so many things but I do think that education helps and it not only just helps having a degree but also just having that structure in the day-to-day -day life and I think that's one thing I really enjoyed about it is having something to do all the time, you know, having deadlines, balancing out your life and the things that you want to do on the side. So anyways, yeah, we can get into that later, but midterms for me is a little bit different compared to the other majors. I am double majoring in marketing and apparel merchandise. So a lot of my, I guess, midterms are basically projects. So I have like two or three projects that I need to do this week and meeting with my group tonight to do a project we have to present tomorrow and then there's another project that I have to do with my partner on Friday and another project that I'm working on for the outline for a business plan that will be due next week. So just a lot of communicating and making sure that everyone is on the same page and getting your work done throughout the week so that we don't have to cram it in the night before. So yeah, that is a lot of what I have to do. I don't really have an exam that I specifically have to study for at the moment. Also, I am taking 21 credits this semester and next semester. And that the usual average I would say is like maybe like 16 to 18, depending on your major. But honestly, it hasn't been that bad so far, mainly because three of my classes are online so that I kind of just am able to do like on my own time and I don't have to like go to so many classes like today I only had one class my second class was canceled because she's at a meeting so we just have like a project in place of it to do and work on um so that was nice to be able to come home earlier and be able to go and do some homework and finish the rest of my online work so right now I'm going to pack up my things and go to a coffee shop although I Fun fact, don't like coffee, so I'm just gonna go and sit and maybe order water, but I do like this coffee shop because it is very relaxed and chill, and they don't really like pressure you to buy anything. You don't feel like you have to buy something when you sit down and you kind of just go in and you can sit wherever. So yeah, that is what I'm going to do now, and of course, take you guys along with me. If you have any more questions about college or any tips in general, advice, things like that, just let me know and I can answer those later in a different video. While my car heats up, the first tip that I have for being productive and trying to get some work done is to get out of your room because it is scientifically proven that if you separate your like living area of where you are usually sleeping or relaxed from where you do your work, then you'll get so much more done because let's say that you're in your bed and you're doing your work, you're obviously associating that bed with sleeping and you're just gonna like feel tired and feel like you need to go to sleep. So that is why I am making myself get out of my room and go to a coffee shop to get work done where I'm in public 
and the second tip that i have is not for everyone but i like to get ready a little bit and it just makes me feel a little bit more put together and then i'm a little bit more uncomfortable but like not in a bad way i'm just like wearing jeans and wearing a jacket so that i'm not wearing a sweatshirt and feeling too comfortable because then i always tend to like get lazy and fall asleep faster you can take that and try it out if you want if it works for you it might not it really just depends on the person It's almost 7 o'clock now. I just finished studying or doing homework, I guess. And they close at 7, so I thought I would pack up and leave. And I have my meeting at 7 with my group. I was just working on the project and cleaning it up, making it look nice. But yeah, I had a good muffin in there. It's like a double chocolate chip muffin, I think. Um, and it was so good. Like the top was so crispy and the inside was so soft like a brownie. It was honestly the best muffin ever and it was huge, um, very sweet, but I really liked it, so. For some reason, my Canvas like school website wouldn't work with their Wi-Fi and that's happened before going to this coffee shop, but I just like went on it on my phone and then I had to just put all of my like discussion answers into a Google document that I will add on to the discussion when I get home I guess so I tried figuring that out for like 15 minutes and I thought it was because of the wi-fi and that's why I bought the muffin in the first place because they changed the rules and they said that the wi-fi password is now on the receipt so you do have to give something so that's okay but it wasn't the wi-fi either way it was a good muffin enough about the muffin let's go home and finish up this project Also, one of the biggest issues I have when trying to get work done is definitely going on my phone. And I always have it on Do Not Disturb, but I still go on it if it's right next to me. So I often like to flip it over and put it behind my laptop so that I kind of like forget about it or you can put it in your bag. And that makes it a lot easier. I know there's also apps that I've used in the past of where it makes you not go on your phone and you can collect coins or something or like grow a plant. I don't remember what it was called, but it essentially grows a plant. Like the longer that you're not on your phone and that it stays open on the app, it will start growing this plant. And then I think there might be a way to like turn the coins into a gift card or something. I'm not sure, but yeah, there's definitely that option. And I think that helps a lot also make sure you're taking breaks it is so important to take like a 15 minute break in between doing homework because it will make your studying progress be stronger you'll be able to focus a little bit better when you go back to doing your work but you do have to discipline yourself to make sure that 15 minutes doesn't turn into like two hours because that has definitely happened to me before i don't know about you but i cannot focus for like more than i don't know 20 minutes or something so yeah it is really hard but as long as you're aware of it i think that it will get easier looking for me to let's go take me on this journey home i don't wanna wait no hey guys i just went to bebop's taking a break eating some dinner it's like almost nine o'clock now i just finished my meeting with my group I think Bebop's is a Midwestern thing, I want to say. I'm not sure. This is only my second time having it, but it's pretty good. Just got a regular like burger. Cheese is extra though, which is not my favorite. It's right across the street from TJ Maxx, so I'm just going to step in just to take a little look because I love shopping and yeah, maybe see if they have any home decor.
Good morning, guys. Yes, it's 11.30 and I still look like this in my pajamas. But I got an exciting notification that one of my packages is here. And I can't wait to show you guys what I ordered. And I still have pimple cream on my face, but gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm walking over to the mail room. Package is secured. I'm gonna go wash my face and then I'll be back to unbox it. I lived here for three months and I just found out that I had a medicine cabinet. And when I tell you, I was so excited like i was honestly like jumping and screaming so this is what i've added so far there's more that i still want to put um but this is like the skincare that i use every day and then like face mask another tip for midterms or just any time that you are feeling a little more stressed of course always remember to incorporate your self-care routine so that you feel replenished and also like to make sure that my space is really clean things like this organizing my stuff just makes me feel so much better if you're wondering why i'm not in class doing my presentation we got an email this morning that the professor canceled class so all we have to do is record it and then upload it to her so that is so much easier and less stressful to do than presenting in class but here's the package just okay. I got the shark hair dryer, and I don't know if a lot of people know about it yet. I feel like it's kind of new, I'm not exactly sure when it came out, but I'm very excited to try it out. And I was gonna wait to see if they had like a sale or something during Black Friday. But I kind of have a feeling that it's going to be sold out and there won't be a sale because it'll be in high demand. Um, so if you don't know, like the Dyson hair wrap or air wrap or whatever is like, I want to say like five to six hundred dollars. And Shark recently came out with basically the same design. Um, and apparently it does the same thing, but it's only selling for, I'd say like 260 or 300, something like that. Also, you get to choose three different, like, heads. And I bought this in the summer, the Revlon, like, two-step, one-step. I don't remember the name. But I do like it. I just kind of want more defined curls, and I think this is good for, like, a blowout. This is her. I love the color of it. I thought I saw someone, like, have a black one. This. That's so cool. Wow. Okay. I just, I love technology. It's so fun. So in this box, we have the actual curler that we're, I'll be using. This one has like the round brush that you can um, do the blowout look with. And then this one is the flat brush. I chose the two brushes. I'll show you the round brush. Looks like this. It looks smaller than my Revlon, or maybe it's the same size. Well, it looks bigger on camera, but I want to say they're about the same size. I have this one, which I'm excited for. It's a left side and a right side. I think this is what the inside looks like, and oh, just like that. Okay, plug it into the outlet. I'm also curious to see how loud it is because my Revlon is so loud. So there's a cooling button, and then I'm guessing this is a heat button, and this is has a fan symbol, not sure what that is, and then the on and off switch. So let's turn it on. That sounds so high tech. Whoa, did you see that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm silly and this thing doesn't actually spin. I thought it did for some reason. It doesn't. The air somehow wraps it. I did the most random piece of hair, but look. I'm so excited. Okay. 
time lapse of me doing my hair and I'm probably gonna be like looking over because I'm gonna use this mirror so that it's easier. <laughs> so amazed my hair has honestly never looked better and i come out here myself i think i said that in the other video and it's like so bad but look i'm gonna look like this every day like i'm i'm addicted to this now i'm just kidding but um i do have some comments first of all it worked great like feels so much like better for my hair than the revlon and it doesn't like pull on your hair and there were some things i think I don't think you have to switch it. I think you just like hold it like this, like a normal curling one, and it will go outwards. But I just switched it um, because I didn't like figure that out until later. Um, other thoughts. I feel like you can't, I don't know if this is the same as the Dyson's, but you can't really put too much hair on it because the ends won't like, if it's not wrapped like thin enough, then it won't wrap around. Like you'll have some ends that aren't like, getting through on the power for the most part i think it just takes a little bit of getting used to and i would rate this a 10 out of 10 i really like it i'll keep you guys updated if there's any like issues in the end so definitely consider getting one over the dyson if you've been like pondering on it library to film the project virtually and my laptop is about to die my parking meter is pretty much up so i'm heading back to the car I can either drive 30 minutes home because i'm in like the nearest city or i could go shopping like thrift shopping eat or just go home those are my three options right now I am kind of hungry, but I don't really know anything specific that I would want to eat here. And I also kind of feel bad because I do have a lot of homework left. I have at least like 10 to 13 assignments to do. I think I should probably just go home. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna make the drive home, listen to a podcast or some music, and then maybe pick up food before or something. I decided to get Poncheros. I got a burrito and chips and queso. I haven't had this in, I wanna say like a year or so. I was just randomly craving it. But now I'm gonna head home and eat that before I finish doing the rest of my homework. I think I'm gonna end the vlog off here. Thank you so much for following along with a little bit of midterms. And I hope that you all do amazing on your tests if you have any and have a great day.